Yeah, that's where I'm going. I'm using some of the time already. Yeah. Hello. Um, um, no, 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 I, I want damage time. Um, I'm Piers Corbyn, brother of, and he used to be my brother, and now I'm his brother. Um, I've been involved in housing for 47 years, and um, began, actually, in the Notting Hill area, when the Notting Hill housing was set up. Um, and now I'm also involved in the Notting Hill Housing Trust Genesis Fight the Merger Committee. Um, and I've been 30 years involved in the Aylesbury as well, uh, because when I was rehoused from barricades in Elgin Avenue West 9, I found myself next to the Aylesbury estate as it was being established and just finished. Now, I want to basically talk quickly about the way forward. The context we're in, in housing, is that never before has it been so efficient and low cost to build housing. And never before have we had such a deep housing crisis in London. So it's pretty clear that the housing market doesn't solve anything. In fact, the developers are the cause of the problem. And those councillors who say that they've got to form alliances with the developers to solve the problem are lying. They're working with developers to line the developers' pockets and gain something for themselves. And we have to have rules against this sort of continued activity. If anybody's a councillor, they shouldn't be allowed to work for developers for five years after being a councillor, for example. And what we have, under pressure of developers, is the housing associations have now been transformed into developers. Some of us warned back in 2001 that housing associations were becoming housing landmark lords. That has now happened. And what we have is Notting Hill and Genesis have merged, taken away their priority for social housing and taken away the rights, any rights, for uh, uh, electing their shareholders. So now the shareholders are by appointment. So what we have is a social cleansing machine oligarchy. That is what the housing associations are. And this is definitely not what people voted for in 2001. What we have, you see, is a triangle of evil. We have the council, housing associations and developers. The council work with housing associations to reduce people's rights, i.e. take away secure tenancies and turn them into, sum up please, uh, turn them into... Uh, you know, more movable people, and then the developers um, uh, are able to actually chuck them out of London uh, via various housing association deals. Now, there's a lot of other things I would say, but I would say, the, to sum up, we have to unite all the struggles and fight for balance everywhere. We have to go for the for the people test, and specifically on the Aylesbury, we do have to say we want to ballot and have an opinion poll, such as, do, do a, a, a text, like go around and say, do you agree with secure tenancies be handed over now to the temporary tenants? And two, stop the development and have refurbishment, not demolition. And I'm sure if we went out with that, first of all as a questionnaire, and then demanded a ballot on those lines, unless they respect the ballot in 2001, where 73% voted to kick the Holy Status Council against only 11% who voted to the transfer, i.e. in the opposite plan. So it was a 6 or 7 to 1 against their monstrous plan. So that's the specific thing we need in terms of a programme. We've got to have a programme of demands, such as um, to unite, we need a broad housing movement uh, for decent housing for all. So we have to fight for rent control. We have to fight to bring empty properties into use, forcibly if necessary, i.e. by requisitioning or squatting uh, or whatever. And uh, we need laws against, I'm summing up again, uh, but I'm finishing. Um, Loretta Lee's produced a good idea that's happened in Vancouver. They actually have a law against gentrification. A law against social cleansing operations by landlords. And that is the next thing we have to fight for in the Labour Party. So I'll end up, we have to now build a massive, united movement of decent housing for all at cost. Thank you.